This build is god mode for soloing dungeons, solo flawlessing dungeons. Use this titan build, especially in this encounter. Today's video, we're going to break down one of the better builds if you're going to try and do this on titan. Of course, we got to talk about my solar synthesis titan hammer build. This thing is just so lethal, so good. The part I love about this is that it doesn't even matter like what weapons you have. You never run out of ammo because you're just throwing a hammer and you have the hammer infinitely. And we're going to go through a few things that you can do when you lose that hammer. And we're going to have the gameplay in the background is of me successfully soloing this encounter and this was literally the second time i ever tried it using this build so i could adjust a few things here and there but let's go ahead and break down what we got in terms of the subclass we're just rocking hammer of soul for the super rocking rally barricade really doesn't matter though I'm probably not using my barricade at all unless i lose my hammer you have a few different alternative methods to get the hammer back if you do lose it because sometimes you throw it and it lands in the water you throw it and you just straight up can't find it and that's frustrating but we got catapult lift force throwing hammer healing nade for survivability i have a ton of survivability with this build i could easily tone it down with this but because it was just my second time trying it i figured i wanted to survive more than anything because obviously dying is the worst and then you have to restart all over again especially if you're trying to solo floss it but if you're just trying to solo it not as big a deal but even still when you have to do you know four damage phases then it's going to be tough and you don't want to die on that last one growing flames soul invictus or the fragments i went with ember of torches I had ember of ashes on I had ember of combustion and i had ember of solace on you could alternate a few different fragments here and there but those are the ones that i chose for this one and then i had on a heritage for boss damage if necessary if i lost my hammer at any point in time i had on a tractor cannon obviously this is just for debuffing and debuff the wizards you can debuff the knights you can debuff the boss so that way when you throw the hammer it nearly one hit kills them and then cases dejection i just had on just in case i needed to use it here and there but i honestly really didn't use it throughout the entire run pretty much just threw the baby hammer 400 000 times and cleared the entire room with sunspots and crazy baby hammer damage on the helmet for mods we're going with heavy ammo finder so that way we can find plenty of tractor ammo so we can debuff everything and also suppress this stuff so it's actually really strong you get you find yourself in a tough spot it's nice to just spam some tractor and get your way out of there hands on of course so we can get our super back really fast and then we also throw on font of wisdom because there isn't really anything else to use here don't really need to make uh, use a siphon rather because we are just using baby hammers pretty much the entire run on the gauntlets we're definitely using heavy handed that's a must and then the other two is impact and focusing strike and those obviously cause melee damage gives you class ability cause melee damage gives you a grenade that's the perfect synergy so that way you can get your healing nades back you can get your class ability back if you need to use it you probably won't too much on the chest it's essential to use melee damage resist you are literally in everything's face if anything melees you at any point in time it's gonna hurt bad moths come in and hit you and they're close range so it should help resist against the moths arc resistance helps against the moths and then i just had void because the boss throws void shields at you and they are super lethal or the boots with this build we're going with recuperation again not 100 necessary this is literally just for overkill survivability a lot of people use solar titan and they like to use the lorelei helmet because of its immense amount of survivability however i I personally believe Lorelei is completely unnecessary. If you have healing nade on, if you have recuperation on, if you don't need Lorelei, you're going to survive just fine. We've got recuperation here. And then I throw on void holster. The reason why is because I didn't need surges because I wasn't really damaging the boss with too much weapon damage. If I did use a surge, maybe kinetic surge, but I put on void holster just because I like to have my tractor just reloaded for me so I don't have to stand around reloading it. If you stand around and reload it, it's in those moments that I find I die more. As long as I'm just constantly hitting things with baby hammers and never stopping for anything at all, I pretty much feel like I can't die. Constantly have healing. If at any point in time I get in any sort of panic situation, I can throw a healing nade. I'll be making orbs everywhere that it's constantly getting picked up with recuperation. It feels like actual god mode with this. So that's why I choose to just rock void holster so I never have to reload the tractor cannon. And we got innervation on so we can just get some more grenade energy when we pick up those orbs. Moving on down to class item now. We're going to have reaper now. I do park my class ability from time to time so that way I can get my grenades back if necessary. And sometimes I actually rotate this out and have outreach just in case I do lose the hammer because it happens from time to time. It's really unfortunate. But one thing that's really nice that you can do is put on one, two finisher here. And so that way, if you do lose your hammer, you can just hit a finisher on an enemy and it should restore the majority of your melee energy. So that way you're not running around without your baby hammer. <laughs> if I lose my hammer and I start running around, I'm in so much trouble. The enemies just completely overwhelm you. They shoot you so fast. You can throw the healing aid to try and survive for a little bit, but you you honestly, you need the hammer. You need 100% uptime of the hammer. You need to consistently hit targets. And if you lose it at any point in time, you need to get it back fast and so that's why i have one two finisher on just so i can get my baby hammer back extremely fast for the stat distribution we just have of course 100 resilience because we're trying to survive more than anything we have 100 disciplines we can get healing aids back really fast and then after that you can kind of distribute it a variety of different ways i would say the only thing that you really want to also spec would be intellect though you're not going to need much recovery because the sunspots and recuperation and healing aids are what's going to get your health back you're not going to need much recovery so maybe just more intellect so that way you can pop your hammers at any point in time especially if you get in a sticky spot i would notice a lot of times in my damage rotation 
to the boss that I would throw the hammer and miss it because I'm being launched every which direction. And when I'm getting launched in all those different directions, I pop my super and then go run to my hammer that was on the ground and throw the super while I picked it up so that way I could get back into my damage rotation. For damage, I'm actually just hitting them with tractor cannon and throwing baby hammers at them. You could also shoot heritage. You could rotate in any other energy weapon that you think is good for damage. There's fusion rifles that actually do really solid damage to them now. So you could use that if you want, but myself personally, I just went with the easy and safe route and just kept throwing the hammers. Never stop throwing the hammers. And that's this build. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you going to try and solo this dungeon? Are you going to use this build if you're on Titan? Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.